Okay, today I want to talk to you a little bit about my collection of uh, hill tribe baskets. So, <clears throat> we'll start off looking at the Akka baskets. These three different sizes here are all the Akka. You can see <coughs> they're all generally the uh, the basic oval shape. The Akka have closer weaving at the top uh, with a, a nice rounded lip and close weaving at the bottom. This is a small one so it has a cross brace but traditionally they would tend to have three or four cross braces at the bottom like this one this is slightly bigger <coughs> and this is a very big one and quite a lot heavier the, the uh, bamboo it's made from is, is probably a, a different Kind to the to the ones for the lighter. See, it's got the four cross braces on the bottom, and the close weaving at the top and bottom. And traditionally, the akka would also have this wooden neck brace to be uh, worn. The uh, strap goes around the the head or the forehead and then uh, the neck brace helps spread the load only the Akka Hill tribe seems to use these neck braces on the smaller ones they're probably not quite so necessary so, uh, so this is the Akka style next is uh, uh, an ordinary uh, Lahu style this was the first basket I got you can see the, the strap is nice woven bamboo as well. Um, they have the closer closer weaving at the top but not at the bottom. Uh, just a simple cross brace there. It's quite light in weight, normal oval shape. Uh, the top is, is finished simply, not not with the roll top, like the uh, Akka style. <clears throat> this basket is from Luang Kang, where they are the Lahu Shile type, as opposed to the black or red. And these, they are very well known for their basket work. Very fine work indeed, and uh, subsequently quite expensive if you wish to buy. Um, but they are very closely woven, and uh, very well made, very strong. This has been hung over the kitchen fire outside to smoke uh, the Lahu houses do their cooking inside and uh, they don't have any chimneys or windows so, so <clears throat> one end of the house gets very blackened and they hang their baskets there so they get naturally uh, blackened like this and it protects them from insects and makes them stronger and last longer um, now we have a couple of Karen baskets uh, one smaller, one larger and they have this thick foot on theirs which helps them stand up very easily again very closely woven, no holes um, almost as fine craftsmanship as the La Hushile, but uh, 
these are probably not quite so expensive. Both the ordinary Karen and the uh, long-necked Karen, who are, the tribe actually is called Kayan, uh, they use a similar style of basket with this foot. This is the larger one. Again, not too heavy. Um, blackened by the smoke a bit. But, uh, cross bracing on the foot. Very well made, very strong. Very nice design to look at. And these two baskets here, this one is made by the, uh, was made by black Palong people or Ta'ang. Uh, they wear the black sin instead of the red sin with stripes. So they're similar to the ordinary red Palong but just an offshoot. And this has got a nice little brace. This is very long, almost like the kind you'd wear on your back to collect tea perhaps. Got the rolled lip like the Akka basket. Nicely woven, mostly open. And uh, quite an interesting, unusual shape. <coughs> and this tiny one was also made by the Ta'an. It's got a wooden brace inside. This is usually worn on the belt or a, uh, with a, a, a cord of some kind worn uh, in the small of the back to hold various things when one is out in the fields or and uh, the wooden knife the ordinary wooden machete which almost all Thai farmers and hill tribes carry around that can be just kept in the back there or even just the blade without the holder um, Keeps it in a good place. This knife is a, a Lahu style. There's not a lot of difference between them. So that's a nice little handy basket for shopping or whatever. Just to wear on the back or the hip. The uh, Echo one. Hey, all. All easy to wear over the shoulder or if you've got a heavy load, you easy to slip them onto the top of the head and that helps the weight. I'll put a leather strap on this to make it more comfortable across the head. So, this one again is one and you have the, the brace here. Which uh, keeps the weight off your shoulders. And uh, they need to be quite finely adjusted to get the correct length of strap and be comfortable but once you've got your bag set up you're away so that's my collection of hill tribe baskets hope you find them as interesting as I do